points off on the right side of 30, but still rebuilding after a shock first loss to Alex Leopold a couple of years ago. He's facing Brazilian Irenu Costa, whose record looks decent on paper, but last seen getting stopped against British hope David Price a month ago in Berlin. Bucks. Round two of this ten-rounder, Irenu Costa will be hoping that he has more success in Germany than he did last time, last month in Berlin against Liverpool's David Price. What if he stayed out here, Jimmy? He looks bigger and fleshier than he uh, th th than we saw in Berlin. Maybe he's been at the Bratwurst. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be right. I mean, he has a puncher, you know. You know, okay, at the, not at the top level, but you know, he has a decent knockout record, so he carries decent power. And then, but he's just trying to show some of that. They were just about to say that Boitsov didn't allow him to let anything go in the opening round. But uh, he tried a right hand there. Talk about Costa's power. Points off goes for another right hand. It, it is at low level. His three defeats came to Price. And just before that, he went the distance with Christian Hamer, who Tyson Fury has just dealt with handily, and then lost was stopped in four by Joseph Parker, the, the scarily frightening New Zealander who has real potential. But in between losing to Parker and losing to Price, he bowled over a 42-year-old compatriot in Brazil inside a round. It's a nice jab uh, and the way he's stepping in with it. Boy, so he, he does pick nice punches. Good technique. Reminds me a bit of Glasgow who we saw last weekend. Paul Smith and I watched his fight with Steve Cunningham. Two, two on, on, the, uh, on, the, on the minute scale of heavyweights again. Paul and I both thought Cunningham won. Glasgow got the decision. And uh, it's Glasgow that is now on deck to meet Vladimir Klitschko. And the feeling was that after that fight that Vladimir didn't, wouldn't have seen anything that would have troubled him too much. And again, it's 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 a size differential thing. It, it's just not big enough. Yeah, I, I think it's father time that's going to beat Klitschko. Maybe he'll retire before that happens. But, uh, you know, he's just... Uh, He's, he, he just looks unshiftable, you know, he, he just finds a way to nullify what the other people have got. And, he, you know, he's done that for years. And uh, just talking about that, I mean, you can't imagine uh, Boistov, uh, the size and height of him, making any impression on Klitschko. But at least the titles have become fragmented. Oh, good oh, shot. Good. Terrific. Doubled up the left hands and Costa felt that. Boitskoff and unload. That was really clever work with the left hand there, and Costa showing some survival skills there, hanging on. Well, that was much better because if you're not a big heavyweight, you've got to use the attributes you've got, which is speed. He was far too fast there for, for Costa and hit him hard. And it was the double effect that really wobbled the Brazilian, who is now going back to his corner and saying, I'm all right. But he wasn't. Now that was a quality left hook, then I, I like the way he was stepping in behind the jab. You know, and then uh, he doesn't have the reach, so he, he knows he's got to get close and move in with the punches, and there you go. Double left hook, actually. Then he goes looking for the finisher, that uh, Costa. His survival instincts kicked in, almost went over, but just regrouped. And saw it around, but that, yep, that was a little quality attack there. He's complained at the end of the first round, you know, they were having a discussion Hello. at the end of the first round. Now he's quick, yeah. yeah. I don't think he wanted to be here, Nick. No. I thought when he said he was all right, what he was actually saying was, you know what, I've done my right hand. And I think he's packing it in on his stool. Well, they were having a discussion at the end of the first round, they didn't seem happy. So uh, it looks as though he thinks he's done enough to pick up his paycheck and off comes the glove. Now it's a disappointment. Well, he's, he's been invited here a couple of times. I don't know that he'll be invited back after that. Yeah, they just realised what's happened here in the arena. And that is the invitation being rescinded. Dennis Boitsoff couldn't care less. The rebuilding continues. This will be marked down.
as a second round stoppage over Irineu Costa. Well, Boysoft wins as expected. His record looks great on paper, but he'll need tougher tests before we can find out if he can really make an impact at 29. Yeah, I remember seeing Boysoft uh, back last year, and I was quite disappointed with him, actually. You know, I, I remember him fighting a, a New Zealand guy by the name of Alex Leopai. Leopai, which is one defeat, and Leopai then lost. Yeah, I was quite disappointed with Boysoft, but it looks as though he's regrouped. He's come back, he looks strong, solid enough. Um, but I suppose, you know, we've been spoilt with, with great heavyweights, haven't we, at the moment? You know, Anthony Joshua, David Price, Tyson Fury. And I think, you know, this guy is, is, is a level below those guys. Costa Jr. stopped exactly a month ago today against David Price mm. quite badly. You'd rather see him tested a bit, a bit harder yeah, than that. He's, re he's ready for a, a, a definitely bigger test now than this. Um, you know, he's, he's got a good record on paper. Let's step him up now and let's see what he's really made of. Or one last result earlier on this evening. German teenage prospect Vincent Feigenbutz took a step up in class. The 19-year-old made 18 wins on the spin after an early career loss, this time taking the unbeaten record of Hungarian Balas Kellerman, who was 17 years his senior. So after world title action from Canada last week, Germany this week, next up we build up to some top-class matches from closer to home. On Thursday's ringside, we preview Kell Brook's first defence of his welterweight crown against mandatory challenger Jojo Dan. We're at the latest from Sheffield, 6pm, Sky Sports 1. Then on Friday, a ringside special looks back at Kell's crowning night when he captured the title in America against the favoured Sean Porter. 6pm on Sky Sports 1. And then to fight night, Brook tops the bill against Dan. But don't forget, there's an all-star undercard, including big tests for Adam Etches and Gavin McDonnell. We're live from 7.30pm on Sky Sports 1.